Welcome back to part three of Let's Play X Men Arcade. This is Doc H. John with your host, Rick the Prick. And we're going to continue on. What are these, like mechanical bats or something? I don't know, but I can't, I can't even hit them. Wow. I guess because I only have, all I have is balls, and all you have is fists. <laughs> we need Scott Summers. Yeah, we need that optic blast. <laughs> yeah, buddy. that optic blast is such Holy. a. There's the equalizer right there. Yeah. You turn so Caucasian when you do that. So Caucasian. <laughs> all right. Let's get these uh, little green men out of the way. Oh, look, oh. more Sentinels. And I just died. What are they holding? They're holding boulders? I, mean, I don't remember them. Is it bigger than them? Okay. I know they're robots and stuff. But... Well, I'm going to go ahead and change characters for here real quick here, Jock Itch. Can't leave me by myself. Just... Why not? Let, let's not be the Dazzler here. Why not do that? What do you want to say about the Dazzler there, Frick? Oh wow, where, where do I really want to start? It's basically a, a mutant that has the ability to basically, I guess, make fireworks and get a nice little stage show going on. Did you say pretty much the only thing she can do is dazzle? Yeah, basically. Wow. Oh, I mean, that's, that's quite a feat, isn't it? Even for an X-Man. I mean, even even look at that. I mean, <laughs> I mean, wow! It's just like watching her play. Is I I am so dazzled right now. <laughs> exactly. I will tell you what, folks, I hate to. But no, I guess uh, I guess her origin goes that her mom and dad were actually like her mom was like a freelance artist and her dad was a lawyer. Well, when she, her uh, mom had left her, uh, she supposedly when she found out she was a mutant, she actually you know had the ability to dazzle people. Works, arrays and all that, I guess. So. Not oh. too keen on her, but... Do you guys want to post about the Dazzler? Because neither one of us really give a shit about her. Yeah, exactly. I feel free to. If Dazzler's one of your favorite X-Men, I feel sorry for you. But... <laughs> True to that there, John Gage. I um, just rescued... Uh, is that Jean? No, that is Jean. No, that's uh, Kate Pride there. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Shadowcat. I forgot all about her. And oh. here we go. You know, they actually made a, I think it's like a, a late 90s cartoon, X-Men. Oh, actually, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they did. And, and actually, you know, the funny part is they actually made Wolverine's voice Australian, even though he's Canadian. <laughs> yeah. Canadian pride right here. Wolverine. Yeah, and they made him Australian. That's too funny. Oh, sorry we're not talking, we're just getting into this right here. Uh, yeah, we're getting the into The fireworks kind of threw me off. <laughs> I don't know where I am. Oh, there I am, get my ass Oh, you mean all the bright little, the bright little pretty colors there, jackets? Yeah, I'm going to change my character here, Prick. Hold on one second. Okay, not a problem. And let's bring in Storm. Storm. Oh, wow. Anything you want to say about Storm? Monroe. What more can you say than Aurora Monroe? <laughs> she can control weather, and she can fly. It'd be pretty cool to be able to, you know, control weather and fly that, you know. You want to freak somebody out, you want to freak somebody out, have it still in the middle of June, you know. That actually would be pretty cool though, Jack. Have a heat else. wave in January. <laughs> Wouldn't be a bad idea. Anyway, she can't fly in this game. So what you do is jump around. Oh. And then get hit at yeah. the same time. Yeah, I was waiting for that to happen. This is what her mutant power is. Oh, wow. Wow. Is that, wow, is that as best she got? That was, uh... That was the best tornado I've ever seen. White cream, white... Ah, white speak. queen. White cream, white cream. frost. What more can I say than the most beautiful of Marvel characters, in my opinion? She turns into later be an X-Men. Um, has the ability to turn her body into diamond, as well as has awesome psychic powers, and as well as a beautiful body, as far as I'm concerned. I know she's just a Marvel character there, Jock. What do you think? Uh, I would give I would give her a, a 7 out of 10, if I was a comic book character. If he was a comic book character. Oh, we both died at the same time. time. So I'm going to give her a tornado blast. Okay, I'm going to dazzle her. <laughs> You dazzled me on that one, I'll tell you that. <laughs> okay, she's done for. You just had an orgasm there. Must oh. have. Oh, here we go. I don't know More what's going things. on, but... I don't know. That was, uh, that was pretty worth... That was... No one oh. didn't have that scene right there, but... 
just got ran over there, Jackie. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of the older days. Anyway, don't get into that. You know, I'm surprised we're fighting Sentinels here. I didn't think we'd fight any at all in this game. I wouldn't either, and, and, and being that it, they were just fighting so many of them, it's repetitive, you know? Oh nice. wow, I guess I guess fucking fried his nutsack. <laughs> you didn't, if you didn't see that, go ahead and rewind it. I guess fried that Sentinel's nutsack. Oh, uh, I'm thinking if I can do it again. I don't know, I'm getting my ass kicked over here, because... Uh, Storm isn't really that great in this game. No, it doesn't appear to be so. I thought the first year. Okay, in a situation like this, I would think that you would need to use your special powers. Is that what you think? Look at the heads roll around. Oh, oh my goodness. Galactus. Now he's fell off the edge. Isn't that more like Master Mold? Looks like Galactus to me. It's Master Mold, I do believe. Oh, let me see my character one more time. Okay, Storm was in, uh, Storm doesn't do it anymore. Her. Let's go back to Nightcrawler. I did the best with him. And for all of you that don't know out there, which most of you wouldn't, that's actually Jockage's first character that he ever fell in love with. Yeah, that was back that was back when I was young and stupid. Before I did drugs. I don't do drugs. I just I just drink some every now and then. Every now and then being every day, but let's not get into that. Oh. Yeah, let's not turn this into an uh, intervention here. Jockage. I was hoping. Oh, Juggernaut. That oh, is, uh, uh, that is Xavier's Kane, brother. Yeah, Kane Marco, to be exact. He actually, he's not actually a mutant. He got, he got a gem that gave him undestructible power. And, uh, you want to explain why he wears that helmet there, Prick? Um, any ideas on this to why he wears that helmet? There, I know why he wears it. Do you, do you know he fill you in? Yeah, please do. He, he wears moments. the helmet so, uh, Xavier can, can't read his mind. Okay. Because, you know, being Xavier's brother, he knows what Xavier's power is. Yeah. Yeah, I see. So he just knocked it off. And there goes the helmet. But in all actuality, folks, we wouldn't have been able to beat the Juggernaut that easy. And we all know that. Yeah. But with the Dazzler and Nightcrawler, I don't see them two just taking Juggernaut out real quick like this. And and to just... add into the fun, I'd like to know your guys' views on who would win in a fight. Juggernaut or Hulk? Please post. Oh, that'd be an easy one, Juggernaut or Hulk. X-Men, nice job. Magneto is over there. Follow me. Over where? Show thy. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. It's my mom. Huh, yes. The speech. I don't know it was a trap. It always is a trap. All right, guys. I'm sorry. You're going to have to uh, end it right here. This is uh, Jockish John and... Rick the Prick. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in part four. Four.